Today, breaking news on Capitol Hill. We have a new speaker after nearly a month of squabbling among Republicans in the House of Representatives. Louisiana Congressman Mike Johnson got 220 votes to secure the win. And it comes as we're getting reaction from President Joe Biden on the news and what he wants lawmakers to do now that Congress can get back to work. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy is live at the White House with this developing story. Ben. So now, look, Calvin, moments ago, President Joe Biden did call Speaker Mike Johnson to congratulate him, saying he's ready to work together. And after 22 days of inaction, Johnson says his first bill as Speaker will be to help Israel in their fight against Hamas. Lawmakers on their feet amid applause after the U.S. House elected as Speaker, Louisiana Representative Mike Johnson. Having received a majority of the votes cast, is duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives for the 118th Congress. As all South Florida Republicans were united behind him. Diaz Ballart Johnson, Salazar Johnson, Jimenez Johnson. Congressman Jimenez shared this photo moments after the vote with Johnson. Our mission here is to serve you well, to restore the people's faith in this house. Johnson is a social conservative and the vice chair of the House Republican Conference. He also served on former President Donald Trump's legal defense team during his first impeachment and with 220 votes is now the Speaker of the House. The challenge before us is great, but the time for action is now. Action when it comes to aid for Israel, a focus of President Joe Biden's fourth state visit, this time with Australia's Prime Minister, as the Commander-in-Chief made clear during a joint press conference that Israel has the right, and I would add, responsibility to respond to the slaughter of their people. And with a speaker now chosen, Congress can move forward with new legislation, including a $100 billion foreign aid package drafted by the White House that includes money for Ukraine and Israel. Our nation's greatest ally in the Middle East is under attack. The first bill that I'm going to bring to this floor in just a little while will be in support of our dear friend Israel, and we're overdue in getting that done. And along with that bill to help Israel, Johnson will also have to find a way to fund the government and avert a shutdown on November 17th. Reporting live at the White House, Ben Kennedy, Local 10 News. Ben, thank you.